All right, guys, let's cut straight to the video. We're going to be showing off unreleased content for Helldivers 2. Now, as a quick disclaimer, I am, you know, as you know, I'm not a developer. And this required technically modifying the game files. So that's already a breach in their, uh, you know, view on like modding or, you know, tampering. So I understand the risks already. Be that as it may, I only played in my own lobby and I have cross play off. I set the lobby to private, and this is purely a demonstration. I know that's not going to hold up, but, you know, it is what it is. Now let's move on to the fun stuff. Now, mechs. Everybody wants their mechs in Helldivers 2. This is by far the most polished, unreleased content that I was able to get my hands on so far. There are currently two versions of these mechs. There is a Gatling gun and a Rocket Pod mech, which I'm going to have gameplay for. And there is a quad that's right quad auto cannon mech now all of these are stratagems that you can call in at any time they have a fairly long cooldown but all these stats in like you know everything is subject to change because it's not released technically but it has like a nine minute cooldown which i think is pretty appropriate if they keep it like that that should be fine they are single pilot only one seater um you have a full rotation of the you know it's i mean it's a mech suit I mean, you get to, you know, aim up and down, you can shoot bugs, shoot robots, you know, what have you. Keep in mind that I'm on mouse and keyboard and the mech does not rotate as fast as your aiming crosshair can move because they're giving it like rigidness and, you know, the real feel of how a mechanical exosuit would actually be on the battlefield. Things I liked about it, it feels amazing to use. It is very, very fun. Uh, you can walk through obstacles, you can walk through trees, you can walk through rocks. So one of the things a lot of people kind of want to talk about is, is it going to feel great to use or it's going to be clunky, get stuck anywhere? I didn't get stuck anywhere. I was just gunning thing. I was just gunning everything down in my path. Very fun on the mech side, which is uh, kind of par for the course. The mech is what got teased. The mech is the most polished item in the unreleased content thing that I have. It makes sense. This thing is ready to go. Now, I have three more items to show off. Secondly, we're going to look at the recon vehicle. This is probably the second most polished thing. It's kind of tied. The recon vehicle is a four-seater, four-door light reconnaissance vehicle. It has a machine gun on the rear, a driver, a passenger, and then, you know, of course, you can hop in the back as well. Once you get into a vehicle, it has new UI. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see drive, first gear, second gear, neutral, and reverse. I was on mouse and keyboard. You're able to use your left shift and left control to go through the gears if you would like, or if you want to keep it in drive mode, um, I think that's automatic, I believe. Uh, you do have to shift into reverse, though. I will note, um, I don't know if these vehicles explode, because um, this is unreleased, so, you know, it is what it is. And overall, the driving felt pretty good on the recon vehicle. I liked it a lot. One cool thing was the, uh, the bugs can destroy the tires on the vehicle and make it very difficult or not drivable at all. I actually got stuck in the video because they destroyed my tires and I didn't have any traction. So I do like the damage models so far. They seem to be working out pretty good. The tires are pretty weak, so you can't just drive over, you know, your bugs and your robots and kind of just not be stopped by anything. Um, it so far, I mean, this is unreleased, but so far the vehicles feel pretty balanced. Um, I didn't explode like I thought I would have. Um, you do take a lot of damage in the recon vehicle if you're stuck somewhere and the bugs are just pounding on you. So in the higher difficulties, I getting stuck is probably a death sentence for everybody. So just keep that in mind. Oh, I forgot to add one more thing. Um, there is un there is a trench wall that I forgot to talk about. It is a support stratagem at the moment. Um, you throw it down. It acts as a barrier for you to take cover behind. Uh, I would say these would probably use against robots more than bugs. You do have a grenade launcher that is mounted on the wall. It only has two magazines. I don't think you can rearm the wall. It seems to just be like a one and done. So pretty cool. Um, I don't know how many hits it can take, you know, for melee wise, if it can be used to kind of block off an area and kind of give yourself like a safe space. Um, I don't know, but it seemed nice. Uh, that seemed pretty well polished. There's not really a whole lot of moving parts to that. Um, so I would imagine that's pretty good to go with the mech, honestly, as far as polish goes. And now we have two more things to discuss. Let's go ahead and discuss the APC. This is going to be your 
second vehicle it is of course a four door it is big it is bulky you have two machine guns and one auto cannon now this is a bit further out at least at the moment from what i have my hands on right now um as you can see the the model itself isn't as rendered and, and textured and polished up as the mech and the recon vehicle is and it also has a weird uh visual effect on the auto cannon that of you know of course that won't be present on the final model when it comes comes into the game one cool feature on the apc is the rear turrets the machine guns you can choose whether or not you want to use them or not if you are not using the turret your guy goes back down into the tank and if you want to pop out and use it he'll come out of the tank so that'll stop you from getting hit or you know getting spit on or something like that so i th think that's pretty cool um i would i mean I'm, I'm sure they're already working on it but i would zoom out the camera a little bit if you're not uh in the machine gun it's a little bit too close uh, i kind of wish it zoomed in when you got on the gun but then it would zoom out when you're in the tank and your turret is closed to give you kind of a more a wider pov that's just my like my two cents, but I'm pretty sure it's still pretty far along. It does have the wheel mechanic, so your tires can be destroyed and it'll stop this thing from moving, which made it kind of difficult to get around or downright, you know, unusable. The auto cannon seems pretty strong. Uh, it looks like you only get one mag on the auto cannon, but it does have a pretty big mag, so you can kill a fair amount of robots, fair amount of bugs. It'll get you from point A to point B relatively safely. Um, one thing I've noticed from the APC compared to the recon vehicle is when you're getting hit, you do not take damage. Now, this could be early development. Maybe you do take damage, it's kind of like not further along yet. They don't have the models updated, yada, yada. Um, but yeah, I thought that was kind of neat. So you have a, uh, you know, safety. And lastly, we have one new support weapon. It is called the Commando. Now this thing was actually pretty cool to use. Um, I didn't test if you could rearm it. Uh, I'm assuming that you can, um, in quotations, maybe. It is a four shot guided rocket launcher. So basically you guide the rocket with your crosshair or if you're aiming down sight and uh, it kind of acts like a tow missile. Now, I don't know how powerful this thing is. I didn't test it out against like a bio Titan or a charger or something. Um, but if it's anything relative to that kind of stopping power and you get four shots you can do in rapid succession with pretty decent precision um that's a pretty big rocket launcher now those are the stratagems that i have access to at the moment um keep in mind that this is only the first half of the content the second half of the content is going to be the laser weapons so we're getting uh, new laser weapons a crossbow uh we're, we're supposed to be getting ai reinforcements for solo players where they'll come in and they'll be like little little recon uh Hell Diver guys, I'm sure they're not gonna live very long. They're probably gonna die instantly, but it'll kind of help you out in a solo game. So a lot of content coming on the horizon. Take all the information that I've displayed in video that I've shown off with a heavy grain of salt, albeit besides the, the mech and maybe the trench wall. I think those are the most polished, like mechanically speaking. Uh, everything else is, uh, could be a few months or you know whatever and remember to don't take whatever you see against the video uh to heart the devs are literally doing their jobs to code this and model this and everything so this is all subject to change you know everything in the game some of the stuff might come out soon might come out later yada yada don't hound them on it on like why isn't this in why isn't this in i saw this functioning in the game i want it now i want to play it now you know, none of that. Just be grateful if you get it, when you get it. And that's all I got to say for the video. I am going to be covering my gamer tag just to kind of protect myself. Not that I've done anything. Well, I guess I have done something wrong, but it was for content, you know, demonstration purpose. But, you know, it is what it is. Subscribe if you want more, and I'll catch you next time on the Drop Hell Divers.